Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to update and edit products already published in your Redbubble shop. From the editing menu, you'll be able to rearrange or resize your designs, add new products, update prices, or make any other changes that you wish. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. On Redbubble, you have the ability to update any of the products in your shop anytime you want. Whether you want to fix a design, add new colors, select or deselect products, update your descriptions, or make any other changes, simply follow the process I'll be demonstrating in this video. So first, let's head over to my Redbubble shop and find the product that I wish to update. To get to my Redbubble shop, let's click on the account icon at the top here, then click on View Shop. So here are some of my designs that are already listed for sale in my Redbubble shop. If we take a look at the second product here, we can see that the image is much too big and needs to be resized so that the full image can be shown on the front of the mask. Also, instead of white, I think I'll select a different default color for this product. Since this product has already been published, we'll need to head over to the editing menu to make our updates and changes. To edit our published products, we'll need to head over to the Manage Portfolio menu. So let's go back up top, click on our account icon, then click on Manage Portfolio. This will take you to a page where you can manage all the products listed in your Redbubble shop. To update my product, I'll first need to find it. Since the design I want to update is in the Taekwondo niche, let's type in Taekwondo and pull up all of my designs on this topic. There we go. I can now view all the designs that I have uploaded that are associated with Taekwondo. So here's the design I wish to edit in order to update my product. If you look at the top right of the image here, you'll see an icon that will open up the settings menu. When you find the design that you wish to update, go ahead and click on the settings icon, then click on edit from the drop down menu. Here's where you can make changes to your design information, the products you add your design to, your product colors, prices, or any other updates you wish to make. For my design, I need to update the size of the image on the mask and change the default color displayed in my store. So let's scroll down and find the mask. Here it is here. As you can see, the image has been cut off on both the top and the bottom of the product. So let's see if we can fix this. If you look underneath the image, you'll see an edit button. Go ahead and click that now. This will open up a menu where I can edit my design for this particular product. Using the tools on the right, I can replace my image, resize or rearrange my image, change my product colors, and even update the product price by going to the second tab in the menu. For my design, I need to resize my image so that the full image appears on the product. So let's go down to the scale image slider bar and make my image a bit smaller. There we go. I also want to make sure my image is centered in the middle of the product. So I'm going to click the center vertically tab here and also click on the center horizontally. Now my design has been resized and centered in the middle of the product. So now let's update the default color of the product that's shown in my Redbubble shop. To change the color, go ahead and click the drop down menu beside the set background option. You can then set any default color that you wish for this particular product. For my product, I think I'll go with this dark gray here. Make sure you select a color that complements your design. If your design has white text, for instance, you don't want to select the white background. Now if we take a look at the product mockup here, we can see that the full image is now shown on the product and my default color has been changed to dark gray. If you like, you can also make other updates to your design, such as by updating your title, description, or tags, update your margins to adjust your prices, and even remove or add your design to new products. For each product that you select, make sure you take the time to edit your design to make sure it appears properly on the product. To add the new products to your store, make sure you click the Enabled button here. So while we're on the editing page, go ahead and make all the updates that you wish to make for your design, then scroll down to the bottom. From here, you can edit the collections your product will be added to and the default view for your product. Once you're finished with all your updates, go ahead and click on Save Work. 
Once your changes have been processed and saved, the updates you made should now appear in your Redbubble shop. So now let's head back over to my Redbubble shop and check out the product that I just updated. As you can see, we can now view the entire image on my Taekwondo mask and the color has been changed to gray. Go ahead and take a look at the products in your Redbubble shop and see if there are any changes that need to be made. You want to focus on continuous improvement whether that's by adding better keywords to your title and descriptions or by changing your product colors. So that's a quick overview of how to update the products that are already published to your Redbubble shop. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.